Hi there. How you doing? I am Beth McCain. And I'm Lee McCain. And you're listening to the Beth and Lee McCain Radio Show, where all we do is talk about... The Law of Attraction. The wonderful Law of Attraction. <laughs> That's right. It's pretty great, isn't it? It is wonderful. You know, I woke up this morning, and I have Lee staring at me, smiling from ear to ear. I'm like, you know, what? <laughs> You've been watching me sleep? What? <laughs> What's well, going on? I do that, too, <laughs> occasionally. And he was all excited. She, she, she sleeps like a little lamb, by the way. Oh, please. Doesn't even, <laughs> doesn't, doesn't even snore that much. Aww. Well, anyway, we have a, you know, we have an office outside, you know, our home, and Lee said he couldn't sleep, and so he was, you know, answering emails, and, you know, we answer them together, but every once in a while when we get um, a nice, just a one that has comments on it about the law mm -hmm. of attraction, we open them, and, and, you know, he'll print them out. Anyway, so he's grinning ear to ear at me. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you know? And we got, well, you tell them. You tell them the incredible email we got today. It just, it just warmed my heart. Well, one of the people who, you all know that we have the Subliminal Manifestation CD, which just came out. Mm -hmm. And we spent a lot of time on it. Most of the time was spent doing the, um, the research work, or, or not, not research so much as the, um, you know, after we had recorded it last May, um, the, the testing. Mm -hmm. You know, the... Mm -hmm. And, and they did a, like a, a double blind study with, with uh, some groups of people who were just recruited for doing that. Mm -hmm. That's kind of how those things work. Anyway, we heard from one of the ladies. Who and she had to look for us. Yeah. I mean, she really had to she, find us. She, was, she was not a law of attraction person or anything. Mm -hmm. She just really, you know, I guess she did the search or whatever to find us to let us know that the CD that she had been tested upon, you know, she, her... Her specific thing was weight loss, mm -hmm. so that was because there's like seven tracks on the CD that that say that deal with seven different issues, and hers was weight loss, and so she was one of the of the group that was testing the weight loss. Anyway, she's lost 49 pounds since August. That's when she got her copy and was tested, and so she says that she didn't have any cravings. She's she's gotten gotten rid of her cravings. She's lost weight for the first time in her life. And, you know, 49 pounds the, since August. And the other thing is, you guys, that is really important to learn here is that the universe, see, we, Lee, just, just a few weeks ago started the weight loss program for everybody to be a part of, like a, a circle to support mm -hmm. each other. And because you, I would think you guys all know that Lee's lost over 200 pounds by doing this just with the, the law last, of attraction. In about the last two and, and a half years. And so... It's amazing how the universe has just put all those little pieces of the puzzle together. Incredible. And to get that wonderful email. Oh, it's just wonderful. It really was. It really and, was. And so anyway, um, I've sent her an email asking her if I can publish the email on our uh, blog so because yes, we're so proud of it. See it. But in the meantime, that's the story. And we also told the story on the on the, on the the uh, the blog too. But there's nothing like reading the email that she wrote. I know. So just I, I hope I hear from wonderful. her because uh, I'd like to do that. Yeah. So uh, what else is going on this week? We're in our second week of boot camp. We are. Well, yeah. not our second week, our second class of boot camp. Second class. Well, it will be the second week. Yeah, it's so much fun. Yeah. It is just so much fun. It's doing really well, just yeah. like, the, like the first one. And it really isn't too late to, if you want well, to we be have, a part we have, of... Yeah, we have late registration. Yeah, so by until, Monday, you know, Monday. Now, and then, you, then the next class will be Right, if, you if you're not able to too. register by Monday, for those of you who have who sent emails expressing interest, um, then you'll have to wait until the March 5th class. Yeah. But if you want to get in on this one, you've got until Monday to be able to do late registration on it. And we can handle just a few more. Yeah. Uh, you know, sometimes it, it's not that it's no, so much tough. It's just that we want to give everybody individual attention. Yeah. And, and part last of the, class was 43 people. Yeah. And so Woo -wee. we. Uh, it was fun, though. Yeah. It was but, a lot of but fun. But it kept us on our toes. It and sure so, did. Okay. Anyway, there we go. Okay. Should we get so to our questions? That, that's all the news. And so now comes the question. Okey yeah. Okie doke. Uh, well, do, am I answering one first? Sure. Or, okay. Sure. Okay. This is from Matthew in Tennessee. Hello, Matthew. Hi, Matthew. How come when I have a bad day and I do my best to try to have a good day after the bad is happening, the day still seems to go bad? What am I doing wrong? Well, you're not doing anything wrong. Yeah. Okay. That, that, first of all, there, there's, there's no right or wrongs. So there's just different, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, you're not doing anything wrong. Your bad day is really a result of previous thought patterns. Now, they could have been from last week, last month, last year. But they, they come home to roost, you know. And Especially so, when you focus on and, them. Yeah, when, so when you focus on bad things, 
previously, what happens is your, your bad day was created from former thoughts that you'd had. Now, when you have a hard day, you want to let it go and just ride the rest of the day with ease mm -hmm. as much as possible. The key there, though, is letting it go. Yes. See, once you get mired in all the muck of mm -hmm. a bad day, it's hard to let the bad go. It's and like you, And you hang on to it. Yeah. Then, then it's like you're fighting you, with it. Guess what you're creating at uh -huh. that point. More bad day. Exactly. Right? So uh, when you can do that, in other words, when you can, can let go and, and focus on ease for the rest of the day, the universe will shift and mm -hmm. it will start to bring you the ease. And then if you can get into a grateful or happy space for the rest of your day, then at least when you ride the day with indifference, you won't be creating any more blow-up days. Yeah, you if, see? if you can't... You kind of neutralize if it. You can't have, if you can't get into a joyful spot, then at least be indifferent. Mm -hmm. Don't be angry. And you can't, if you, you're not able to be happy, just kind of be, be mellow. Neutral. Just yeah. neutral. Because then you're not creating anything, at least, well, sure, that's going to continue it. It's when you react big time to bad days that that's when it creates even more bad yeah, days sure. with the same yeah, kind sure of tone. Does. So your bad days, Matthew, they'll become less and less when you begin to let go of the situation that gets you down. And then you start to find the good in the day. And there, I don't care how bad it is, there is good, too. Mm -hmm. And if you start to focus on that and, and clear your mind of those negative thoughts and reacting to the bad, mm -hmm. you'll be all right. You sure will. Okay. So hope that helps you, Matt. <laughs> okay. Well, I have one for, for you. You got one for me. All the way from Vermont. Vermont. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I bet it's pretty right now. Well, it's, it's, it's always beautiful there. I but it's know just, it is. In the fall and the winter, those are the two times in Vermont I that it's just... I Vermont. It's beautiful. So Renee writes... <laughs> my brother, or should I say bother, <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> and I don't get along at all. How do I fix this relationship <laughs> through the law of attraction? Well, it's good she wants to fix it. Yeah. Her bother. Her bother. <laughs> <laughs> well, first off, you want to remember that this relationship is a relationship that you've attracted into your life. Sure, you have a brother that you can't change out for another, but you have created the actual relationship with him. Of course, we don't know all the details of your relationship, but if this is about jealousies or personalities or, you know, competition, you can change this to what you want it to be. So first, Renee, what you're going to want to do is visualize a wonderful relationship with your brother. And anybody else who's listening to this, obviously, you can do this in any relationship. See yourself laughing together, enjoying each other's company, uh, working together, if that's what you're doing, but that it's all done in joy and ease. And no jealousy. <clears throat> exactly. You know, sibling rivalry is really Yikes. an issue, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it can be. It sure can yeah. be. So, and... You want to visualize daily. The reason why is the repetition is what gets the universe, you know, it sees it over and over and over again with you and you get into that feeling space, then it comes to you, you know, easier. Okay, now this is the part that can be a little bit difficult, but this is what you're going to want to do. Treat him like you want to be treated. Usually the people that are in your life are a reflection of your thoughts. So when you look at him, see what you see in yourself and then treat him like I just said. You know, like Lee you'd said, like to be treated. Yeah, just like you want to be treated. And yes, again, at first it could be a little difficult, and particularly if he doesn't treat you well. Mm -hmm. you know. Um, but then you're going to see a shift if you stay within that frame of mind. And just know it in your core, that's what you want. Because if you're just doing it for another individual, like you know, we've had many, many people ask this particular question with siblings uh -huh. and it all it comes down to maybe you just want your parents to be proud of you you know you don't really want the relationship so you really have to make sure this is what you want because if you don't and it's a fake feeling mm -hmm. then wow chaos so, so basically <laughs> you just want to turn your father back into a brother <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, All folks, right. thank you so much. Thank you so much, as always, week after week, for listening to us. We really in enjoy it we uh, sure doing do. the show, and we love hearing from you. So until next week, thank right. you, and we'll see you. Bye. Bye. Bye.